Hi. Hey, hi, I'm Kate. I'm Michelle. And we're Mishka Art Play, and we have just finished writing a book called Funky Animals, and it's a how-to book of drawing and painting for ages five and up. And today we're going to do a demonstration on one of the projects from that book, which is called uh, Whirly Birds. Whirly Birds. We'll start with a curvy line, upside down U. Then we're going to use a straight line, a curvy line, and we're using angle lines to draw the legs. We'll put the tail on. Three of those. We put the pom poms in, and that's using five different size circles, so big and small. And it's really important when your composition that you have a uh, contrast of size and shapes. Now, curvy line, make the stem, and you double it up. Another little circle inside. I'm just going to put some lines in here. Decorating my lines in the background just to ground it. So that's the whirly bird. I'm going to do the painting part and I'm going to put an undercolor that is a magenta color. It's really important when you're doing your artwork you need to have a lot of layers of color on there. I'm going to put a lot of water on my brush and I'm, so that the paint is a little bit see-through. So I want to be able to see my lines. So there, I have my undercolor done there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe it with a rag just to sort of dry it a little bit so the next layer of my paint, acrylic paints, will stick to it a bit better. So now I'm going to start off with a bit of white. It's really important that you have white in your painting. Your eye automatically goes to white first in a painting no matter what. It's just a natural thing that we do. Now on this layer with the white after the pink, I'm using very little water. In fact, I don't have any water on here. It makes the paint a little bit more opaque. You can see I'm letting a little bit of that pink show through. I'm going to use some blue, but I'm going to mix it with the white that I have left on my palette to make it a lighter blue. I'm trying to use very minimal colors here. It makes it a little easier to, for the eye. So I mixed the blue and the green and a bit of the magenta that I had left on the palette. So I'm putting it on top of the white. So now this space has three layers. It has the magenta, it has the white, and it has this purple color. So I'm going to start with the India ink and I'm going to use a very tiny brush. So I'm going over the lines of the original drawing. Sometimes kids like it just like that. What happens is we're going to be putting some pastel in there so that it'll just give a contrast of the black line. Because if it's just a black line, it's just a little bit too much. So I'm going to start with the white and I'm just going to go beside the black lines. And it doesn't have to be really tidy. So now you can see it's really just lightened everything up. And I'm going to put the orange pastel in there. Ta da! <laughs> For more information about our book, our projects, and workshops, go to mishkaartplay.com. Right here. Thank you. Thank you. This book came from the help of Kickstarter. Thank you, Kickstarter, and, and all the supporters. And we plan to do more books after this. Um, but the Funky Animals is the very first one. And as you saw, we did the Whirly Bird project from the Funky Animal book. Thank you.